The M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank designed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems. Conceived for modern armored ground warfare and now one of the heaviest tanks in service at nearly 68 short tons, almost 62 metric tons, it introduced several innovative features. Including a multi-fuel turbine engine, sophisticated Chobham composite armor, a computer fire control system, separate ammunition storage in a blowout compartment, and NBC protection for crew safety. Initial models of the M1 were armed with a licensed produced 105mm Royal Ordnance L7 gun, while later variants feature a licensed rain metal 120mm L44. The Tank Urban Survival Kit, Tusk, is a series of improvements to the M1 Abrams intended to improve fighting ability in urban environments. Armor upgrades include reactive armor on the sides of the tank and slat armor, similar to that on the striker, on the rear to protect against rocket-propelled grenades and other shaped charge. Warhead, a transparent armor gun shield and a thermal sight system are added to the loader's top-mounted N240D 7.62mm machine gun and a Kongsberg Gruff and Remote Weapon Turret carrying a 12.7mm caliber machine gun, again similar to that used on the Striker, is in place of the tank commander's original 12.7mm caliber machine gun mount, wherein the commander had to expose himself to fire the weapon manually. An exterior telephone allows supporting infantry to communicate with the tank commander. The M1 and 2 Abrams SEP V3 retains the layout of the M1 and 2 MBT with the driver's cab at the forward center hull, turret in the middle and power packed at the rear. The tank integrates the line replaceable module technology to enable easy maintenance of the fleet. The tank integrates joint tactical radio system, JTRS, handheld, man pack, and small form fit radio to ensure network readiness and interoperation with future brigade combat teams. BCTF. The NBT measures 9.7 M long, 3.7 M wide, and 2.4 N high, and is manned by a crew of four, including a driver, a commander, a loader, and a gunner. The primary mission of the M1A2 System Enhancement Package set, V3 Abrams is to provide mobile, protected firepower for combined arms maneuver in wide area security. The Abrams must be capable of engaging the enemy in any weather, day or night, on the multidimensional non-linear battlefield using firepower, maneuver, and shock effect. 
In response to the U.S. Army requirements for 2014 to 2024, the Abrams lethality must continue to be improved. This improvement in lethality for the Abrams M1 to 2 SEP V3 derives from the combination of developmental upgrades and the addition of mature technologies that include the ammunition data and ADL. Improved 120 mm ammunition, improved forward looking infrared, it FLIR, and the low profile, LP, common remotely operated weapon system, Crows. According to a representative of General Dynamics Land Systems, Tim Reese, N1 a 2 SEP V3 is the most modern version of the Abrams main battle tank which can enter service with the US Armed Forces in 2017. It's easy to recognize the N1 a 2 SEP V3 because at the rear left there is a small exhaust for the new Under Armour generator. In September 2018 it was announced that M1 A2 SEP 3 and M1 A2 SEP 4 variants were being renamed to M1 A2 C and M1 A2 D. The M1 A2 SEP V3 is equipped with a new improved entire IED capability electronic warfare build on the vehicle. This tank will be fitted with, it FLIR, improved forward-looking infrared to identify a target. The FLIR uses long and mid-wave infrared technology in both the gunner's primary sight and the commander's independent thermal viewer. The FLIR will provide four fields of view, POV, displayed on high-definition display, greatly improving target acquisition. Identification and engagement times compared to the current second generation FLIR, under all conditions, including fog obscurance. This version features also all the equipment and combat systems of the M1A2 SEP V2 variant. <laughs>